First up, we have a bunch of 24 pin FPC cables. These don't make a ton of sense yet because they're for a future product. We have some e-ink displays that need to have their pins reversed. And I thought it would be easier to carry these cables that will do the pin reversing for you. But you know, if you ever need a flexible FPC cable uh, with 0.5 millimeter pitch, 24 pins, I think we have them in 50, 100 and 250 millimeters long. Um, we have them in stock. Like I said, you'll see what these are for later. Speaking of e-ink displays, we also put some raw e-ink displays in the store. We're getting these at a good enough price that I can box them up and sell them to you, which is awesome. So this one is the uh, 2.13 inch monochrome SSD 1680. That's a nice modern chipset. It's very fast. It can also do four layer grayscale. Um, so it's like black, white, and then like light gray and dark gray. If you um, load it with uh, the software that we have for Arduino or CircuitPython, um, there's like a lot, there's like a lookup table you have to load in, but then you can do grayscale color. We'll also put the um, tri-color version in the store soon. And we'll soon be able to get people the individual e-ink displays. Of course, as a reminder, you need to have it be driven by something. You can't just like plug into a breadboard. So the Think Ink fe Feather shown here is a great match. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. next up, we also have a 4.2 inch gray scale and uh, tri-color display and I thought I chose on the overhead because yeah, we have an overhead. I got the demo going but it's yeah. it's here so this is the um grayscale version can you, can you mind taking the speaking spell thank oh, you yeah. thank you sir okay so this is uh 4.2 inch grayscale you can see like I, I didn't have the dark gray this is actually only kind of light gray but it's 400 by 300 pixels uh uses the ssd 1683 which is actually very very similar to the 1680 driver um, and then we also have the tri-color version, which will give you red, black, or the white background. So, you know, you, you pick which one you want. They're, they're basically the same price, but the grayscale one is going to look great if you're doing monochromatic art. And the red, black, and uh, white background one is going to be good if you want, like, spot color. Only thing is, the um, whenever you get tri-color, they always take 15 seconds to update whereas the monochromatic ones take only about two seconds to update. So if update speed is important, pick up the monochrome, but if you want that splash of color, you don't mind taking it longer, get the tricolor. Yeah, that overhead still looks better. I tried the other thing. This it really good. does look yeah, quite good. good, yeah. All right, we're gonna stick with it. And ink, I mean, this is like- It looks great. Great for the ink. Black and white is very cool. Yeah. Okay, star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, the people who like doing open source, it's, Food jam. Yay! So it's we, here. we finally have food jam in the store. I know it's been it's been a journey. Um, this got you know tariffed and then and then untariffed and then you know now there's it got a, betrayed. It came back from the dead. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on, um, but we're selling this as a little kit. So um, stop here. So you get the fruit jam main board, which we'll talk about in a second. You get this front plate, uh, the screws to attach your bumpers, and a speaker. And the speaker plugs in. There's a, a built-in um, amplifier that has like a one watt speaker. You can also use headphones. And, uh, you know, I just put on the back, like all the stuff built in. So this is a credit card sized computer, but it's just jam packed with all sorts of stuff. Let's go to the overhead and I'll just kind of point out everything. So it's based and it's changed too. Like since we announced yeah. it, I added, I added some stuff. I took some stuff away. It's Phil had some good ideas we implemented. Also had some bad ideas that didn't make it, but yeah, but we always on, entertain everything. On the director's cut of this, you can see those maybe. Yeah. Put this out a little bit. So, um, the heart of it is the RP2350 chip. This is the B version. So it's 80 pin. So we use like every GPIO. There's DVI output using HSTX. Um, so it can do, you know, with some smarts, you can use 720p, but honestly, it's best to do something like 640 by 480 video. And we've got Arduino and CircuitPython support for that. USB-C for connecting, uploading data. You can transfer data back and forth. It can act like a MIDI device or, you know, a USB keyboard or whatever. Micro SD card with SDIO, so you can do um, pretty fast data reads off of it. We've got um, a USB, sorry, an ESP32 C6. This is a Wi-Fi coprocessor. Um, connected to this chip so you can go into the internet and get data from it. We've got five NeoPixels. We've got that speaker connector here. You can connect a little four or eight ohm speaker to have onboard audio through the DAC. Um, you know, analog input here, STEM IQT for I squared C, big chunky on off switch, um, extra GPIO. So um, actually it's labeled best on the back. Oh, actually, no, sorry, it's not labeled on the back. It's labeled on the 
overhead plate, which I'll show in a minute. Um, you know, power, analog inputs, digital. So you want to, you know, extend it, add more hardware. Two USB ports. There's a little USB hub here, so you can have mouse and keyboard. Three buttons, including there's also a reset button over here. 16 megabytes of flash. That's like the most you can have. Eight megabytes of PS RAM, which is great because if you're doing video, you're going to use almost all the SRAM for the video buffering. And this means you can have extra space for your CircuitPython code. Or if you want to like run Doom and you want to have like a whole WAD file loaded in, you can do that. A DAC, which can do stereo headphone output or that mono speaker. Um, it's a really nice I2S DAC for uh, high quality audio. And some mounting plates. And then let's go over here. So it also comes with this top plate. The top plate sits on top, you bolt it on. Um, it has all the labeling and it has like these, you know, nice um, uh, cutouts for all the LEDs and stuff. Oh, there's also an IR LED and a debug port. I keep forgetting, there's like, so much stuff that we added. Yeah. So um, we already got a lot of demos for it. We're, you know, we have a Mac Classic emulator that we have working on it. There's like a CPM yeah. emulator. We have some sort of Python code. Wanted yeah, to get these in the shop run. so that, nice. wanted to get these in the shop so that people could try them out. We only put in a couple to start. Um, next week, we'll have more and more. As we put more in stock, sign up, we'll notify you, but we'll also highlight it on uh, Ask Engineer. Yeah, we're about to um, do a whole bunch of videos. As you can tell, we're setting up a video area again um, in our new place uh, for video because uh, it's new products. And if you buy some, it'll help us uh, pay for a kid that's on the way. All right, so that's the uh, new products for this yep. week, everybody. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>